I'm Mike. I'm one of the engineers with Magic Texture. And for the last two months or so, I've had the privilege of hosting our Coaster in a Box prototype, or you probably know it as the Mark Rober roller coaster, because this was built and designed for that video. Now, we've made a couple changes since then. The main thing being an electrical system. Originally, you just had a pedal you pressed down and it relied on you knowing when to release that pedal to stop the motor. Otherwise, you'd run all the way around over and over and over again, and that wouldn't be good. And nor is that a lot like what a big ride would have. So we've added a full control system. We've added an electrical box. Now it has to go on the ride vehicle because this is a smart ride vehicle and we'll go into those features in a minute. The main features of this is a programmable logic controller. Now you'll find PLCs in just about every manufacturing process, but you might also run into them daily at a traffic light. They are used to detect when cars are at certain spots and to turn the correct lights on at the right time. Now, PLCs have been around since the 70s, and this one is much newer than that. Uh, they had a lot of advancements since then, including Ethernet connection, which we use to talk with our Raspberry Pi over here. The PLC is programmed to essentially allow you to program how the ride vehicle actually functions. You have a list of steps that uh, the ride goes through, and every time you get to a particular control point, it just moves on to the next step. Those control points can be added uh, wherever around the track that you want and uh, allow you to do things such as move the ride vehicle forward, backward, change speed, accelerate at certain speeds, and, and just about anything you can come up with, uh, you can program this ride to do. Now, that didn't come without a few challenges. Uh, one of the big things is we originally planned on using RFID for all of the control points. It makes it easy because you can program an RFID chip to be a specific number and you know when you get that number you know what you should do based on that program. The problem is sometimes, like here, the ride vehicle is going too fast. So we ended up having to add a metal plate here and what that metal plate does is signal with a proximity sensor. Now proximity sensors are also very common on amusement park rides. Uh, you'll often see them, they're blue or green uh, down in the track. And that's what tells the main ride PLC on a big ride where a train is. So you'll find dozens, if not hundreds of them on amusement park rides. Now we made this to be a smart ride controller. So we only have uh, one that's down at the bottom. And essentially wherever you get to that, it just indexes to the next step. We also have a number of safety features on this ride. Right here, this orange box is a safety relay. Now it's rated for SIL2, which you probably, uh, unless you're a safety engineer, probably means almost nothing to you. But uh, what that means is that's a set standard that requires us to have certain things wired certain ways to reduce the risk of a possible catastrophic failure. Now, this means that we have multiple emergency stops and each emergency stop has two switches that allow the safety relay to detect if any one of those contacts is bad and on the output side of those contacts on the safety relay you have a contactor or just basically a large switch that turns on and off and essentially kills power to the motors. The other feature we have built in is we have a remote kill switch. Now it looks a lot like a key fob, uh, but that essentially allows you to uh, have an operator that's separate uh, off the ride that can turn on and off the ride at will using the key switch, uh, as well as a number of other features, including e-stops that have a key switch built in again to have that redundancy so that not a single person can get on here and get into trouble and risk hurting themselves. Now, the Raspberry Pi uh, that's inside of it is hosting a server called uh, Ignition. Now, Ignition is a very versatile piece of software. It's very powerful. You can use it for all sorts of things, uh, connecting to databases and PLCs and uh, programming screens and interfaces. So that way you can see what's going on inside your machine. Uh, it can be used everywhere from a single machine, like in this case, all the way up to a large plant where you're controlling entire assembly lines and, and multiple lines all at once. Now, in this case, we just have built a simple interface that allows you to 
uh, program the ride. That's how you program the ride to move around the track the way that you want in a very versatile way. But then it also allows you to monitor things such as alarms and uh, status of where the ride vehicle's at. And again, you can access it all just from your phone or tablet or a laptop. Uh, it makes it very easy to use. So that's basically the point of all of this is to make something that's easy to use, you can just put together with your friends in the course of a couple hours, really. And uh, you can have a fully functioning backyard roller coaster that functions just like a big roller coaster. It goes around the track and it stops at the station and you can unload and reload and send people back off in just a button press. And that's kind of the whole point of this project is to bring something of big amusement park scale down to the individual level. Something that is easy to put together and uh, works well. That's what we are, that's the point of having this prototype ride is to work out all of the kinks. So when we deliver this product to you in a small box truck is what this all fits into. You have the best product that you've come to expect from us.